Bank should be on Capitol yet. Hill, U.S. financial regulators Local testifying Tuesday Bank before the Senate Banking Congress. Committee as lawmakers in both chambers of Congress launch formal investigations into what caused the second and third largest bank collapses in U.S. history earlier this month. The quick collapses of Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank were no ordinary failures. Michael Barr, a top U.S. Federal Reserve official, says the meltdown at SVB started at the top. This is a textbook case of, of bank mismanagement. Barr testified that SVB had been on the Fed's radar since November 2021 when it was cited for interest rates and liquidity risks. They didn't take the action necessary. They were quite vulnerable uh, to risk. Uh, to shocks and they didn't take the actions necessary. The bank, he says, collapsed after depositors tried to withdraw $100 billion in a single day, driven by social media and mobile banking. The bank did not have enough collateral to meet that. Uh, and therefore, they were not able to actually meet their obligations uh, to pay their depositors over the course of that day, and, and they were shut down. While the federal government stepped in to guarantee deposits at the two failed banks and set up a facility to help prevent runs at other banks, some lawmakers demanding regulators take further action to prevent a similar banking crisis in the future. If it's the regulator's fault, it better be fixed. If it's the regulation fault, it better be fixed. The congressional investigations into the financial sector's instability come as fears of recession are mounting. In Washington, I'm Chris Wynn.